Team. Bethel Duran alongside the champion, Joshua Franco, and fresh off of an impressive victory, KO style, Alexis Rocha, who will be joining us for the next couple of fights. Alex, how you feeling, man? Haven't feeling, seen you. Feeling great. Thank you guys for having me. Thank you. There it is. Josh, you feeling good? You caught four fights or more. Two more to go here on YouTube. Yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm Get feeling that good. mic up, baby. Feeling good? Yeah, I'm feeling good. All right, there we go. So we got two more fights coming your way. Jeremiah Gallegos is our ring announcer. You know, fight fans, live on Golden Boy Fight Night on YouTube, we are ready for eight round featherweight attraction presented to you by Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions. Sponsored to you by Hennessy, never stop, never settle. Odds for tonight's fights are brought to you by Bet Online. O'Reilly Auto Parts, better parts, better prices every day. Your three judges scoring this contest at ringside are Jesse Reyes, Lisa Champa, Wilfredo Esperon, and referee Rafael Ramos. And now, fans, two unblemished warriors will clash, whose zero will become the undefeated hero. Introducing to you first tonight, fighting out of the blue corner, standing with trainers Eduardo Hernandez and Panda Martinez. Tonight wearing purple with orange, he officially weighed in at 125.4 pounds. In eight professional contests, his record is flawless. Eight victories, with one win coming to you by way of knockout, no defeats. Fighting out of Hollywood, California by way of Japan, here is the undefeated Katsuma, el cuet de japonesito, Akisuke. And across the ring stands his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, standing with trainers, Marcos de los Santos, Joey Rodriguez, and Cutman Joe Villanueva. Wearing red tonight, he officially weighed in at 125.8 pounds. Tonight, he steps into the ring perfect, 13 pounds, 13 victories with eight wins coming to you by way of knockout. Tonight, here fighting in front of all of his fans in his hometown of San Antonio, Texas, the undefeated Gregory Cario Morales. Clean fight. Let's do it. We get ready to go in San Antonio, Texas. Our fifth fight of the afternoon here during Fiesta Week, and it features a local fighter, Gregory Morales, better known as Goyo, who's undefeated, 13 and 0, eight KOs. He has the red trunks. Goyo, with mentioning the eight KOs, he takes in on Katsuma Akitsugi, originally from Japan, now living in Hollywood, California. For presenting Eddie's boxing crew. He's 8 and 0, 1 KO. Bethel Duran, Joshua Franco, and Alexis Rocha. And Josh, you know Goyo really well. What kind of fighter is he? Uh he's a he's a smart fighter. He's he's lanky and he, uh, he likes to he likes to box and um set his punches up with the jab. Akitsuki, Alexis Rocha, you might have seen him around. He's fought at the Thompson boxing shows he looks a couple familiar. of times. Yeah. yeah, he definitely does look familiar. He has a nice little softball stance to him. Uh he's was cutting the ring off right now. Yeah, Akitsuki left Japan and turned pro here in the United States. He said, I wanted to be around the best sparring and workout, so I moved to Los Angeles, didn't know anybody, hooked up with Panda, his trainer, Panda Boxing, and uh, he's been training in old school style. He came here right before the pandemic and the gym was shut down, so he's been training in the backyard oh, ever wow. since. So that rugged attitude that Akitsuki has. So you'll see him. I've, Worked a couple of his shows for Akitsugi. He has fought fighters who are undefeated. They brought him in as an opponent. And what does he do? Upsets him. He takes them. He's taken three undefeated records. He beat Rasheen Brown in January in New Jersey. Eros Correa at a Thompson show from San Jose. And then Alex Capone also, also used him with Arnold Dinon. And he beat his record. Oh, wow. So, that's the attitude that he has. Not much power behind the hands of the Japanese fighter, Katsuma, 
but he will come after you. He's got a little awkward style to yep. him. What's Goyo style, Josh? Uh, he likes he likes to um, he likes to keep his distance and um, set his punches up with the jab. He likes going to the body a lot. For this fight, he was he was sparring with my brother a lot. Uh, for this fight, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. He was sparring with the brother champion Bam Rodriguez. Yeah. Featherweights, they both weighed 125. Boyle from San Antonio, works at the Alamo Dome, where not too long ago, he graduated from high school here in this building. Now, as he said, he, one day I wanted to fight here. Well, here's your chance, Goyo. Akatsuki's nickname, El Cuete, the firecracker, <laughs> the way he moves around. Gregory Morales, Goyo. Moving around. He's got the crowd behind him. You can hear every ooh and ah coming from Team Goyo. Final seconds of the opening round, scheduled for eight. Good shot landed by Akatsugi at the end of the round. And uh, we would do fighter meetings, and you know, Lex was a nice kid, and uh, he's like, oh man, yeah, I wanna, one, one day, I'll like, what's your dream? He's like, one day, I wanna fight on HBO, have Jim Lampley announce my card. Yeah. I'm like, hey bro, um, I'm announcing your fight. He's like, yeah, that's cool, but I want Jim Lampley to do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So to this day, I'm called Jim Lampley by Alexa, which is a great compliment. But here we are in the second round. And this is the kind of fight that the Japanese fighter, Katsuma Akitsuki, brings to you, Joshua Franco, where yeah. he's going to be there attacking. Yeah. Kind of like how your brother, yeah. Bam, does. And he's difficult, too, because he's he's, uh, he's lefty. So, you know, it's, it's, it's really difficult fighting against a lefty. That he has that advantage. Now, Goyo Morales, also son of a golden boy. He's in Southern California before. Nice, nice right hand. And these fights, when you're early on in your career, undefeated, both of them, I love that. You know, Roberto Diaz and Javier Raza match because you're going, then boy, all right, you want to fight a guy who's 5 and 15 or you want to fight the undefeated guy? Yeah. Go after it, right? That's the attitude you got to have, Alexis? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. You want to you wanna progress the ladder and make those take those risky fights and I guess I know a fight like this with and you fight a 8 and 0 fighter um, it's going to bring a lot to the table and you got to go in there and test yourself blood from the nose of the San Antonio fighter Goyo Morales oh. Akatsuki he doesn't have the power he's just that pressure pressure you've seen a lot of Goyo's fights right uh, Josh yeah I have yeah Easily the toughest opponent he's had? Oh, for sure, yeah. But, I mean, these are the kind of fights that you learn from, and yeah. it, it's, it, it's a good fight. Yeah, well, first you got to win the fight, too. You got to win the fight, yeah. yeah. Right hand from Morales. And I'll say this I've seen Akatsuki's like, five of his fights in the Southern California club scene. Looks way different today than I saw him a year and a half ago for the first time. Not an improvement. Yeah, like he's sitting down. He's confident. Giving angles. The angles. Giving good angles. And he's always been an opponent. He's never been the favorite. A little bit of English he knows. He came up to me and said, always B-side. <laughs> so, I mean, he's, he's been here before. And you hear the corner of Panda Boxing though in distance. Keep the distance for Akatsuki. Good body shot. I think um, Goro needs to start pushing him back. You can't let him push him, push him to the ropes because yeah. when a lefty pushes you back, that's, that's dangerous. That yeah. blood is from Morales. I feel like uh, he, he, should, he should block and counter, counter those shots. He should, he should Morales? Let, let, yeah, he shouldn't let, um, should, he shouldn't let him uh, take advantage of him with that. It's only scheduled for eight rounds, and blood is flying again <laughs> here ringside. And that's when Morales landed on my notes. Yeah. Earlier, oh, yeah. the blood landed on my jacket. Now it's on my notes. And that's you got Morales. the black on, so you got the black on. Yeah. <laughs> Always wear black at ringside. It feels pretty good. Never wear white. Uh, but as we head to the third round, Josh, your boy Morales. Yeah, he needs. He, what does he need to do to change his approach? I feel like he needs to be more, be more busy with the jab and you know try to try to push this guy back. You know, take him. Take. This one's scheduled for eight rounds. Our fifth fight of the afternoon here at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. Bethel Duran, Josh Franco, and Alexis Rocha. And you, wherever you may be watching around the world on YouTube, a good right hand landed by Morales. 
Went back and forth action going on now. No jabs being used. Yeah, no jabs at all. In the middle of the <laughs> ring, it looks like Morales finally got woken up. He's got to pick it up these next couple rounds. See, Akatsuki yeah. does not want to get into a firefight. He does not want to start throwing bombs because he doesn't have the power mm -hmm. to handle with Morales. Does Morales have the power? I, I feel like uh, Morales does have pretty good pop. Yeah. So, he has the eight KOs, but they did against yeah. lesser competition. Yeah. He's got he's to break his opponent down. He's got to throw more combinations to the body, finish upstairs. You can't just load up in one punch like, like he's doing right now. He's Morales? Yeah, Morales. He's lunging and leaning, loading up in one big shot. And he's getting tagged like that. Blood from the nose of Morales. It started in the first round. Yeah, he needs to pick it up. Yeah, he's got to throw more combinations. A little flurry to start the round. Yeah, Akatsuki came in, going, ah, no respect for my opponent. I'm going to come and attack you. He looks confident. He lands a good left. Nice to South Paul. He'll land then follow up with a couple punches, does Akatsuki. There's the shot from Morales. Yeah. Yeah. He needs, to, he needs to do uh, more of that, yeah. more body work. A little more head movement, yeah. I would think so. Yeah. Because he's staying a little straight up, getting tagged with the lead left. <laughs> Winging it, punches is Morales. <laughs> it's Akatsuki, <laughs> moves around. They're bringing the energy here in the fifth fight. <laughs> yeah, Six of them. Total for you here on the YouTube. Then at 8 o'clock local time here in San Antonio, the DAZN broadcast starts. Make sure you download the DAZN app. This is a, this is a good scrap going on. Yeah. Definitely good scrap. See Morales breathing a little heavy here, yeah. Joshua Franco. Yeah, it looks like um, he's not really in there. Either that or he, he feels like he was pacing sure. himself. Yeah. Trying to pace himself. Yeah, maybe. I don't know how many eight rounders Morales has gone before. But yeah, I think this is his first eight round. Oh yeah, then he's probably definitely trying to. Pace got a big jump, right going from six to eight. Yeah, def definitely more a mental thing. Is that what it is? Yeah, definitely. Because when you're preparing for the fight and you know it's going to be eight rounds or whatever it may be, do you train different? No, you just keep you keep buying the same rounds. It's, it's As we head. To the fourth round, this one's scheduled for eight. And Alexis, you're asking how many rounds has Morales gone? Mm -hmm. Well, he went six his last time in the ring okay. last July against Rodrigo Guerrero. And before that, he stopped him in the third, stopped him in the fourth, stopped him in the second, stopped him in the second. You said his last fight was in July? Yeah, July so of last year. Layoff. But that was in, uh, I believe, the SoFi, SoFi Stadium, right? In LA? No, no. Uh, that was, oh, yes, it was SoFi yep. Stadium on the Surdo undercard. Yep, in the JoJo Diaz card. Surdo, JoJo. Your friend Hector Tanahara was also on that fight. Yeah. And it's a good scrap oh, back nice and forth shot. right now. Yeah, he's nice body throwing shot. some good body shots. Yeah. Ryan's right, got to pick it up, throw some more combinations, work the body as well to slow him down. He needs to get some respect. Oh, nice. Some body shots like that. And also, Akatsuki, because of his action, Alexis, that's where the you know, judges might say, okay, he's still more action. Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly, like that. Good, shot, good body good shot. Body shot nice. landed by Morales. Oh, nice body shot. Great body shots for both guys. Yeah. yeah. And now some swelling from the right eye of Morales. So his nose has been bloodied. He's in swelling from the right eye. And El Cuete Japonesito, that's the name, the nickname he uses, the Wait. Japanese firecracker. Man, he's bringing it. Definitely lives up to his nickname. He's nonstop. Yeah. Oh. Akatsuki, a sparring partner of Joseph Diaz Jr. Akatsuki. Yep, they were using him. They're at the South El Monte Teamsters Gym. Okay. Oh. So they were, you, you've used him before, and he'll go around. and You'll see him. He's more, uh, he's in uh, El Sereno, the Lincoln Heights area of L.A. That's where he's living. And uh, he goes to the different gyms. You know, the same ones where you guys go to the backyard gyms, the, mm. um, the one in uh, Pico Rivera. Oh, okay, I get you. Sarabia's gym. Sarabia, yeah. Sarabia's yeah. gym. He'll be there. That's, that's an OG gym right there. Yeah. So, and you know this, when you come from another country, 
And nobody knows you. You got to prove you yourself. You got to prove it. You got to go in there and show everyone who you are. To get invited back. Exactly. For to hit the scenes. Here he is. He's earned the respect of Greg Marie Morales for sure. Oh, That's Katsuma Akitsugi. Oh, nice shot too. He's got to do more of that. Yep. Pick it up. Yep. Good boxing from Akatsuki. Yeah. He's looking sharp. Akatsuki, as I mentioned, it would come in to fight and just smother you and win rounds, steal him. Now he's actually boxing. Yeah. Looking good here. Still coming forward, applying smart pressure, which is really good. It's not getting careless. Not much power behind it. He's no. effective. That'll do it. Morales lands a shot at the end. <laughs> All right, there I asked uh, Panda, his trainer, although you guys win, and he said, yeah, easy. <laughs> so he thinks he has a shutout here through four. And Morales, if that's uh, the case that judges agree with, he needs to step it up, Joshua Franco. Yeah, he does. He needs to, he needs to take it up for sure. It's the fifth round. Yeah. Yep. It's, yeah, it's time. Just getting out work right now. The punch output from Atsuki is incredible. Yeah. Oh, nice body shot. Yeah. Working both sides of the body. As mentioned, much a different looking fighter today. Yeah. Yeah, we, we saw him on the Thompson broadcast myself and Jessica Rosales, and we were like, oh, got to know him. Great personality. Working on his English. We're also working on his Spanish because he goes to those gyms. You got to yeah. learn something. And his attitude of like, I know I'm the B side, I know nice, I'm the nice underdog. He's not acting like he's the underdog, is he, Lex? No, he's not, not at all. He's got a little chip on his shoulder. Love that. Miles has got to put more pressure on him. Can't let him off game like the third, fourth punch. Akitsuki, the fighter with no promoter, no manager, no fans, and no respect now for Gregor Morales, who has all of that. And Josh, when you fight a fighter like that who has nothing to lose, yeah. those are dangerous fighters. <laughs> yeah, they are. They're not gonna they're not gonna back down, they're gonna they're gonna leave it all in the ring. You know, we've been in these situations where you see a fighter where everything's on their side, but they need to step it up. This is one of those yeah. tests. Oh, good Morales shot. Morales with the nice big shot. shot. Nice shot. I can Susie nod there like, yeah, you got me on that one. More of that though, right? That's what yeah, you want to yeah. see? More, yeah, more, yeah. He's loading up, trying to just enjoy one punch. Oh, no. Respect to both guys though. These guys are going back and yeah. forth. More blood from the nose of Morales in red. He's the undefeated fighter at 13 and 0. He needs to keep putting that pressure on him. Yeah, putting that pressure, walk him down. Yeah. Akatsuki also undefeated, 8 and 0. 30 seconds to go in the fifth round. Scheduled for eight. Working our way towards Ryan Garcia and Emmanuel Tego. That'll be live on the zone later on the night. Crowd filling in to the Alamo Dome. Yeah, looking, looking nice in here. Yeah, you're starting to see uh, Morales like a little frustration, Josh. Yeah. I know you've never seen your buddy like this before. Akatsuki still with the pressure at the end. Was that enough to win a round right there? Yeah. All right, so who is Katsuma Akatsuki, who's controlling this fight right now? The southpaw from the purple and orange. Alexis, you're from L.A., Santana, Southern California yep. scenes. You know these venues. He, that's, uh, uh, Akatsuki has fought at Industry Hills, the golf course. Okay. He's fought at Pico Rivera Sports Arena. Okay, yeah, a lot he's, of fights there. Yep. He's fighting Corona at the Omega Products for Thompson Boxing. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, he's, he's different. Probably, this is the biggest stage he's probably yep. fought on. So, so yeah, he's trying to look impressed. There's a big crowd going on. He's, he's, like I said, he's walking with a chip on his shoulder. Yep. His last fight was at the Borgata Hotel in Atlantic City. And here he is tonight trying to pull the upset in San Antonio, Texas. And here's the name that, Josh, you know it. He also fought and defeated Duel Ogin. 
Duro oh, okay. Gein, yeah, yeah. the guy from yeah. Mexico yeah, who has tough. a Miguel Cotto tattoo, who will fight everybody anywhere. Yeah. With yeah. the tattoo? Yeah, yeah. I know who yeah. that is. Duro Gein <laughs> is uh, from Guadalajara. He shows up. Let me show you guys the picture. You'll see it. You know, yeah, right? I know who he is. Now, if you're a club show fan, like our guy Tim Boxeo on the stanza, Duro Gein is will fight you anybody anywhere. <laughs> and Duro Gein is fighting on the top rank card tonight in Costa okay. Mesa. Oh, yeah, at the, <laughs> hanger, at the hanger. Yeah. Yeah. So Saw that's that. who. Katsuma Asaguchi beat. So if he can take care of Duel Ogin, you know he's been in rugged. Oh, yeah. And there it is. So I've seen Ogin fight many times at the Belasco. Yeah. He fought everybody at the Belasco, including yeah. the bartenders, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him fight in Montreal. Duel Ogin. In Montreal? <laughs> uh, goes fights anyone. Yeah. But, but, I mean, that's the kind of guy that uh, uh, yeah. Katsuma has fought against. Those veteran guys who he's just trying to get a fight anywhere he can. And Morales... He's been brought up nicely, but now with the same ruggedness in opposition, and he needs to step on the gas and get out of second year right now, yeah. Joshua Franco. Yeah, he yeah. does need to pick it up. Uh, those body shots are taking a toll on him, taking though. So toll. you can see just the body language. Yeah. You know, yep. Like has been invested in the body, you can tell now. Now in the later rounds. Yeah. So Oil from San Antonio, very confident coming into this fight, but for good reason. 13 and 0, 8 KOs. But now he, he's in there. He's in there with a good test, good opposition. And he does not stop. Katsuma Katsuyu. And, and that experience, though, for you, uh, Alexis, yeah. Akatsuki has fought eight rounds twice. Twice. So he's used to this. Yeah, he's, he's gone in eight rounds before. Morales turned pro in Mexico when he was still in high school. As uh, Beauty and Boxing tweets to me, Katsuma has fans. There's only a couple of them in LA, but those fans love him. They're diehard. I mean, if you're watching us right now, you're, you're a hardcore boxing fan. We appreciate you joining us. And, yeah. you know, we mentioned there's a PBC show tonight, Top Rank show tonight. There's so many, so many. So many shows. So but many in San Antonio, the return of Ryan Garcia tonight. <laughs> right now, an upset is brewing. Katsuma Katsugi. The only people who know him in Texas are, is his corner. <laughs> He's controlling this fight. His corner in Beto. <laughs> and Jessica Rosales. Jessica Rosales, oh, yeah. who's running social media today, uh, is a big fan of Katsuma because oh, of his personality, too. Mm. Goyo right now. What are you telling him if you're in that corner, Joshua Franco? Pick it up. Pick it up. Go, go for the knockout. So yeah, definitely has his, his hands go a lot more. It's a seventh round already. He's, just, I, he's down in the scorecards for sure. Yeah. So shout out to Jake in the box. Jake Donovan who's sitting here press row listening to the broadcast inside the Alamo Dome. Yeah. You know, everybody loves a good deal. Logan, the shout out. Yeah. And Gregory Morales is a fighter who came in very confident, Josh. We saw him, but right now the, the look on his face is like, uh-oh. Yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's definitely not comfortable. He's not comfortable at all, and mm -hmm. you, you can see it. Alexis, in your only loss to Rashidi Ellis, yeah. you were a fighter who was very confident, and yeah. you had to fight through that and fight through that adversity, trying to get in there, get back in there. Yeah. What would, if you could do anything right now to tell Greg Morales, change it up, what would you tell him? Uh, just believe in yourself, really. That's all you have to do in this sport is believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself, no no one's in there but you. So the most important factor comes in play that you have to believe yourself and trust yourself. You have to have that confidence to dig deep and to let your hands go. And that's what I would tell Morales right now. Yep, and then you did that and you got a couple wins and you get a big knockout over Blair Cobbs. But you can see the frustration, though, huh? Yeah, I definitely can see the frustration of Morales. His body language is, is, is hurting. You know, he's taking taking a lot of shots. Like you said, um, Akasuki's not not a big puncher, but uh, it's, it's, the, it's that wear and tear. It's that it's that punch output that you that, that just builds up over time. It's the seventh round now. Yeah, got, I was expecting Morales to come and start letting his hands go. Yeah, him fly up I, I was too. We saw that like in the fourth round. Does he have that one hitter quitter punch, Josh? Um, I've seen it a couple of times okay. in, in a couple of his fights. Yeah, he has really good body shots. That's shot. a good shot. That's another good left right hook from 
Morales, but more of that if you're yeah. the yeah. rooting on the San Antonio fighter. He's got to follow up with that right hook. I mean, the left hook after the right hook. Because he's landing that right yeah. hook. He's got to follow up on it now. You can, you can tell he's a little tired. And he has to dig deep. This is what young fighters have to go through. He's nice, connecting nice. with he's those easy. hooks. Yeah, he's easy. he probably got his second win. Now he's, he's going in strong, he's trying to finish strong. The hotel's being used. I saw him checking into my hotel. It was the wrong hotel where he was at. <laughs> and normally, you know, a fighter, you guys are like, man, where's, that? where's my resume? He's like, yeah. okay, thank you. Where do we go? Like, just <laughs> the nicest guy. They couldn't so figure nice, it out. Man. And he's not being nice to Greg Morales right now. Morales needs to step it up. Yeah, he's got to dig deep in this eighth round, the final round. Hopefully he could. Kofuki looks up. fresh still, huh? Yeah, yeah he, he does. Oh, he needs a knockout to win. Yeah. Morales does? Yeah. That's the voice of Joshua Franco, who knows. And I don't want to say it because that's my friend, but he needs a knockout to win. Well, you're a broadcaster right now. <laughs> Welcome to broadcasting when you say things to people. Man, you're a hater. <laughs> but it's the truth. <laughs> Has Goyal won a round? No, I don't, no, I don't think so. It's going to shut out to a fall. So if you're Morales, Alexis, you throw combinations. You said that left hook? That left hook. Yeah, definitely. He's, he's, uh, he's loading up with the, with the right hook, follow up with the left hook downstairs. As a toddy, just like that. He's, he's, now he's feeling, now he's mixing it up now. But then Akatsuki comes back I mean, with three, four of his he own. He overwhelms you with punches. He comes he back even, even, yeah. even harder when he gets hit. Yeah, exactly. He <laughs> slips the punches and comes back with them. And then he jumps right back at him. There's right no back. power for yeah. the Japanese fighter, but he's right there yeah. and he's very technical. And those are tough. Those are the guys you can't figure out sometimes. They're just on top of you, yeah. smothering you with punches. Smothering like on that. top of you. Exactly. He doesn't get tired. He doesn't get tired. They just keep coming. Man, what an impressive performance by Akitsuki. Yeah. B nice side coming in, more. doesn't care, and controlling this fight. Yeah, res respects to him coming in. B side fighter, hometown, hometown disadvantage, but still playing on the show right now. From Pete Curvera Sports Arena to the Alamo. Oh, Dome. nice right hand. Gotta follow up more with those. Yeah. That's Mine. what you gotta finish with. Yeah. A minute to go in the fight. Eighth and final round. Gregory Morales in red. Katsuma Akitsuki. Yep. El Cuete Aprencito. The Japanese firecracker is looking up to his building. Respect to both guys for putting on a good show tonight. There it is. Well, Morales is tired. Yeah, he's tired. Got to follow up with more. Katsuma oh, picking up a second just... win here in the eighth and final round. He's, you don't get tired. Oh, and he keeps coming and coming. Oh, nice right, left hook. <laughs> you see, he just looked at us? Yeah, he Katsuma did. Katsuma just looked at us, yeah. leaning on him. Give us a little nod. <laughs> oh, what a night for oh, Katsuma man. Akitsuki. Comes to San Antonio. Oh, is he going to get the upset? A fighter who had nobody on his side, but he looks sounds like he's won the crowd. And they go eight good rounds, good and they round. hug in the middle. Good fight right there. Good fight Two fight young right. fighters, 21-year-old Goyo and Katsuma Akitsuki. Nothing to lose. Ladies and gentlemen, here from San Antonio, Texas, how about a huge round of applause for both of these warriors here in the ring. And now we go to the judges' scorecards. Here are the totals. Judge Jesse Reyes scores the bout 78-74. Judge Lisa Jampa scores the bout 80-72. And Judge Wilfredo Esperon scores the bout 78-74. To the winner by unanimous decision and will remain still undefeated. Out of Hollywood, California, and representing Japan, Katsuma El Cuete Japonesito Akisuke.